Hey guys, this is Eric with In-House Solutions, coming back with the next episode in the 3D Lathe Tool Series. In this episode, we're going to be looking at how to create a drill in a 3D tool. This might seem like it's a little unnecessary, um, as drills pretty much like 2D, you can get away with it. Where this might make a difference is if you're using Milturn. The 2D tools don't exactly work the same, so might be the reason why you want to do this. Um, in terms of the prep work that we had to put into this, this was how I downloaded the file. If you can download a simplified file, usually this is what you're going to get. Um, but in some cases, you might only get the 2D, or you might get a model that has um, the actual inserts modeled correctly and like the flutes and everything. All you have to do is just create a turn profile and then do a solid revolve to get something like this. So. Modeling this is a little bit outside of the scope of this video. I don't think we need to show that here. Um, so we can go right into creating the tool. So I'm gonna go to the Lathe Tool Manager, right click here and choose Create 3D Tool. I'm gonna name it Drill. For this type of tool, there isn't really a dedicated um, category for it. Usually I just put it under multifunction. So it's pretty simple if you've made other 3D lathe tools. If you haven't, I suggest watching the first video in the series. It'll go a little bit more in depth here of what everything is here, but we're just going to define the holder, the machine side connection, And then we can start defining the insert. I'm just going to leave it under general turning. Should be fine. Left or right hand doesn't really matter. The corner radius is just going to be zero. The cutting plane, in this case, will be the top or bottom plane. It shouldn't really matter. And then we'll go down to the machine orientation. So this is going to be horizontal. I want to reverse it so it's on the other side. Default active, active spindle is going to be left. Spindle rotation is going to be MO3 for counterclockwise. And I need to reverse this again. I need to unreverse it so that it's on the correct side. I'll click next. And then the tool center point, the way I'm going to select that is from the first option here. And it's just going to be the center right here. And that's pretty much it. That's really all there is to it. We don't really need to worry about any of these other options. We could do next and OK. There's our tool. We can add it to the library. Do OK. And now we can test it out. So let's look at the level with our part. Might want to change our stock definition. So right now it's hollow, so let's make the stock solid. And now we'll create our drill toolpath. Because there's no dedicated section for drills, you'll see that it doesn't come up right now because I have the tool filter on. If I turn it off, then I can see my drill. I'll just select the depth from the graphics view. And we'll turn on drill tip compensation. So a caveat with doing uh, 3D tools for a drill is that you will get um, an error saying that it's crashing on the retract move because the insert is technically in contact with the material as it's wrapping out. 
but the toolpath will generate and it works okay and you have the added benefit of being able to use like modular holders and using this in mill turn so having the uh just that one warning when it's retracting i think it makes up for the uh, the benefits you have in terms of the flexibility of using it as a 3d tool so that's it for the drill if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and dropping a like if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos you can leave a comment below and in the next video we're going to be looking at how to create a tool that has multiple cutting edges so stay tuned for that